after 50 hours of construction and over 100 hours of tinkering, fiddling, and messing around with this project. I'm happy to report that after all the success, failure, sleepless nights, blown electronics, I have a functioning printer. This uncompromising machine is fast and can bang out parts 30 times faster than my heavily modified Ender 3. This machine is certainly not one to be trifled with. As amazing as this project may be, I can't however take credit for this printer. Building a printer from scratch is no easy task, that's why I decided to build a Voron printer. Like many people when they hear it, I too didn't know who or what a Voron is, so I'll explain it to you. Voron is a group of some of the smartest engineers and designers in the 3D printing industry who want to make an uncompromising 3D printer. They have many different designs of printers, and I've built the Voron 2.4. This is one of the most well-rounded and easily scalable models that they have, and in my opinion, it was an easy choice. The Voron team provides 3D CAD models of the printer, a manual, and countless sources of help guides and information, as well as a Discord channel to talk to experts about your Voron issues. Because Voron is not a company, these designs are open source and completely free. This means that your only costs are the materials needed to build the project. Another benefit to the project being open source is that many people have produced mods and improvements on the printer. So this printer is not only a beast from stock, but it can be improved even farther. After constructing the printer, I added some of my own modifications, such as a larger filter housing that uses two 120mm fans that filter out the air throughout the printer using a HEPA filter and two activated carbon filters. I also added a nozzle brush to clean the tip of my nozzle. Overall, this project was a lot of fun, and if you're passionate about 3D printing and you think you're ready to handle a DIY build, I would definitely recommend building a Voron. You will learn a bunch and have a lot of fun. Of course, be sure to have a lot of patience, as you're going to need a lot of it throughout this project. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe if you want to see some of my other projects like this, and check out some of my other YouTube videos. See you in the next one. Bye.